Hey, Josh. Uh, yes. Jeff wants to know what the difference is between S3 logging and CloudTrail object level logging. Yeah, so um, the let's go to the docs. I'm going to be doing a fair amount of this. So um, you can see right here, server access logging provides for, uh, records for the requests that are made to a bucket. And they're going to be collected up into files that are dumped in another S3 bucket. You can put them in the same one, but for lots of reasons, I would separate concerns of what buckets are doing. So if you're hosting content in a bucket, um, I would recommend sending the logs to another bucket because the permissions on those two buckets are, you probably want to be different. So this is like having, uh, you know, tar balls, it is having tar balls of web logs. Cloud trail is more like event at a time hitting a service endpoint so that you can kind of react and respond to that. Um, I believe the information is, is nearly the same between the two. It's how it's getting delivered. Personally, I would use both. That may sound redundant, but what I've learned in using cloud services is actually, unless your data gets really big, it's going to be cheap. Transference of data is where you tend to get more cost, depending on the service. Um, and having knowing you have data is uh, much better than questioning whether you have data. And with eventual consistency, when you sit down at a particular moment to figure out what has happened in an event, you might find a scenario where that you know hourly dump of logs to your S3 bucket is ahead on a bunch of events than CloudTrail. So it, it gets it gets interesting. 